Hi, I'm Peter Lobo from MacTouch Plus. In today's screencast, I'll be talking about paperless workflows. I won't go into the many benefits of adopting a paperless system, but instead I'll teach you how to leverage a few apps to aid you in your endeavor. If you're anything like me, a workflow needs to be as frictionless as possible if it has any hope of enduring. Fortunately, many utility companies will send you an email with your bill. That still leaves the need to download, process and archive a repetitive and tedious task that can easily be automated. I rely on three apps to achieve paperless Nirvana, OS X's Mail app, Hazel, and Evernote. Now before moving on, let me give you a quick glimpse of what to expect from the workflow. When I receive an email from my utility company that matches the criteria set up in the mail rules, then mail will download the attachment into my downloads folder and move the email into my bills mailbox. Hazel will in turn process this file, upload it to Evernote, and once it's uploaded to Evernote, it will move the file to the trash. Now there are many apps out there such as Evernote, like Paperless, DevonThink Pro, Together, to name just a few, and almost all of them are scriptable. So even if you don't like Evernote, the screencast is still worthwhile because the tips and techniques I'll be teaching you can easily be expanded to work with other apps. So without any further delay, let's dive into the first piece of the puzzle. The first step is easy enough, and that's the mail rule. I want to filter any email that comes from my utility company, so I'm going to copy the address, go into preferences, and then rules. And I'm going to add a new rule. I'll give this a meaningful name. You can call it what you want. And under the conditions, I'm going to add from the email I just copied. And if you want to add any further conditions, then take note if you want it to match any or all. This is important. Then I'm going to mark the message as read. And finally, I'm going to run an Apple script. Now, since I haven't created anything yet, I don't have any script listed. I can click on Open in Finder. And this will open a finder window in the correct location. Now I need to open up Apple Script Editor. You can find that in the Utilities folder, Launchpad, or just use your favorite launcher. That's Apple Script Editor. Okay, let me just expand this a little bit. So it'll be easier for you to see what's happening. Now in order to save a little bit of time, I've cheated and already copied the script. Let me compile this so we can see what's going on. And in the text accompanying the screencast, I'll go over in more detail what's happening, but let me give you a quick rundown. These first two lines are basic boilerplate code. You need this in any script that is going to be run by mail rules. Inside this boilerplate code is where the magic happens. Now, this first section here just sets a download folder. This next section is going to run all the following actions for every single email that is matched by the rule. The first action is to get the email subject. And then for every single attachment that the email has, the attachment is renamed, saved in the downloads folder, and then finally the email is moved into the bills mailbox. Okay, that's it. Not too difficult, right? Now let's save this. And once again, give it a nice name, file format, keep it as script, and we want to save it in this location. So here's a quick trick. Click, drag, and let go. And as you can see, it's in the correct place. Save. Now we can move out of this, and we can close this. And finally, we have our script. So let's OK and apply it to see if everything worked well. Yep, move the email. Let's check if it's in the downloads folder. And there it is. So the first part worked just fine. Now it's up to Hazel to take care of this, but we'll see that in the following video.